Welcome to Let's Do It Christ Way. This program is being brought to you by the Churches of Christ of the Greater Dallas and Fort Worth area. We ask that you find a copy of God's Word. Join us in our study as we strive to do it Christ Way. In humility we cherish to speak where the Bible speaks and be silent where the Bible is silent. Preach the good news of salvation to the unredeemed, strengthen the saved, encourage the weary, and lift up the fallen. Welcome again to this edition of Let's Do It Christ Way. We'd like to begin by introducing the gentleman we have on the panel with us this morning. And we're going to start as usual to my far right. And we have sitting in that seat today, Brother Willie Tucker, who is minister to the Fourth Avenue congregation that meets over in the Fair Park area of Dallas. Welcome, Brother Tucker. And then to my immediate right, we have Brother Emmanuel White, who serves the Forest Hill Church of Christ uh, that meets out on Wichita, isn't it? In the city of uh, Fort Worth, Forest Hill, kind of on the border. And That's it's right. good to have you this morning, good brother. And then to my immediate left, we have Brother James Maxwell, who serves the Southern Hills Church that meets out on Hahn Freeway. Good morning, Brother Good Maxwell. Morning. Then finally, we have Brother Mac H. Wright, minister of the East Dallas Church of Christ, meets over on Carroll Street, also in the Fair Park area. Gentlemen, welcome this morning to this edition. Thank you. We're discussing precious things as described by Peter in his epistle. And we'd like to notice several of the precious things that Peter notates there. And we'd like to begin with Brother uh, Tucker and talk to us about the precious faith that Peter describes. Okay, let me begin by <clears throat> saying that the, the word precious in, used by Peter and also found other places in the New Testament translates the word time, which means something that is valuable, mm -hmm. costly, dear, or honorable. It's found <clears throat> at least seven times in the writings of Peter. Of course, I'm not going to talk about all of these, but just to mention the trial of your faith being precious, the blood of Christ, precious, and then three times it refers to um, the stone, Christ himself. Mm -hmm. And then faith is also called precious and also the precious promises of Christ. Now, when you start talking about faith, precious faith, it's, we're simply saying that faith is valuable. Yes, sir. It's costly. That's right. mm -hmm. It's dear and it's mm -hmm. honorable. That's right. And uh, when you read uh, the first verse in Second Peter, Simon Peter, servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious That's faith right. with us through the righteousness of God and mm -hmm. our Savior Jesus Christ. Notice, first of all, the source of faith. Mm -hmm. Faith is through the righteousness of God Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and our Savior Jesus Christ. Hmm. And of course, that's not talking about one of the attributes of God. It's hmm. talking about the righteousness of God hmm. that has been revealed to us and is prescribed mm -hmm. to us by God Almighty. Yes. So Peter is really concurring with Paul, when he writes in Romans 1, 16, mm -hmm. he talks about the gospel of Christ and then he adds, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Now, Paul says uh, from faith to faith, mm -hmm. Peter says like precious, precious faith, faith, which mm -hmm. in the original is, a, mm -hmm. is, is one word. It's a, it's a compound mm -hmm. of, 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 of uh, like, uh, of the same kind, mm -hmm. of the same quality with, uh, with precious. And so right. Peter says that, uh, and that, and that gives us some idea. I mean, the different, <coughs> the different uh, times that you, you see it uh, in the word faith also occurs seven times mm -hmm. in the writings mm -hmm. of Peter. Right. Hmm. And the way they are used help us to understand. For instance, for instance, in, in uh, the, 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 the value can be seen in the fact that Peter says that uh, in, in verse number nine, mm. that uh, it's unto salvation. That's right. Uh -huh. As also he says, that's in chapter, uh, in first Peter chapter one and verse number nine, he says it's unto salvation, which he says also says here in verse one here that it's uh, so so the 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 end of faith mm -hmm. is salvation mm -hmm. and right. if that's that's the case then right. salvation is the most precious possession 
anyone can have. Uh, can have. Mm -hmm. So faith being uh, the cause, salvation being the effect hmm. of the faith. And then again, he talked about the, the, the trial of your faith. Um, it doesn't dim or diminish the value of faith. In fact, it adds to That's the right. value of faith. Mm -hmm. And then in verse number 21 of, of chapter one, he also mentions that uh, uh, God is the object of faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that, that is what really gives it its value because you and I would have to admit if our faith were in ourselves, that wouldn't be of very much, <laughs> much value to us. Much and then uh, also <laughs> in chapter five and verse number nine, he tells us that it's faith that enables us to resist the devil. Mm -hmm. And then in, uh, also in second Peter chapter one and verse number five. So we, uh, we, we learn uh, that faith is valuable simply by what faith is able to accomplish right. in the individual. You know, you mentioned, uh, it's kind of a good segue, you mentioned, kind of ran over a point, the precious trial of your faith. Yeah. We have mm -hmm. the precious value of yeah. faith established. Mm -hmm. and then you mentioned the object of the faith being in God, and mm -hmm. faith is only good as an object in which it is placed. That's right. And then the trial of faith is where we like mm -hmm. to go with Brother White. Talk <laughs> to us <laughs> about the trial of that mm -hmm. precious mm -hmm. faith. Thank you. Brother Tucker already uh, talked about the word precious, mm -hmm. and it does mean valuable. And we're talking about the valuable trial of your faith. Our faith must be tried. First of all, we need to understand what is the faith that mm -hmm. is being tried. Mm -hmm. The Bible teaches us in Romans 10 and 17 that faith cometh by hearing, mm -hmm. and hearing by the word of God. The word of God, once we have taken it in, the ability that we display in living that word out, irregardless to the circumstances that are going on in our lives, mm -hmm. is where the trials come in. Mm -hmm. And when we do those things that the word says for us to do according to the word of God, as it, it is what the by faith is based on, mm -hmm. then we are tried and God tries <laughs> us. Now the verse that I add is verse 1 Peter 1, 7, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perishes, mm. though it be tried with fire, may be found in the praise and honor and glory at mm -hmm. the appearing of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now the comparison here is made with the trial of our faith with precious gold. Gold is tried by fire. Yes, sir. Yeah. The fire heats up the gold mm -hmm. and all the impurities, uh, all of the, the fillers that are not pure are burned off. Mm -hmm. right. Gold does not grow when it is tried by fire. It actually sure. diminishes. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. However, faith when it is tried grows mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. because it's valuable. And it's through the testing of our faith that we actually grow. We grow spiritually, right. we grow in maturity, the ability to do what God says to do is ingrained in our hearts as a result of us doing those things that God says, even in spite of the trial mm -hmm. that we have. Mm -hmm. Now also, Jesus said in Matthew 16, 26, for what is a man profit if, if he were to gain the whole world and to lose his own soul? Mm -hmm. What will a man give in exchange for his soul? When you look at the trial of our faith and the essence that what we are, we are waging here is the soul. When we don't allow our faith to be tried, or we give in to the world, we exchange our soul or the right to save it for our lack of faith in what we're doing. So when we try our faith and stand firm, we are actually protecting or keeping the soul by not doing those things that are contrary to the will of God because all our faith is based on the word. One other thing, James sheds a little light in James 2.17, he says, even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we don't do those things that God says for us to do in all areas, when it comes to obeying the gospel of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. that's a trial of faith. It's a test to that's see right. whether or not we will do what God says. Uh -huh. When we say that the word is only one way, there's a trial of our faith to see if we will stand fast in that. When we become a member of the body of Christ, because Peter's talking to Christians here, mm -hmm. then it's a trial of our faith that we'll stand firm, even though people may be leaving, even though it may not be popular, <laughs> even though you may be persecuted, you have to stand the trial. Right. And when you stand the trial of your mm -hmm. faith, then 
again, it is precious. Amen. It's a precious trial because it comes from God. Mm -hmm. And when we allow God to temper us and to test us, mm -hmm. we come out shining better than gold because Amen. our faith is increased. Right. You know, you, two things quickly, and, and uh, you, you brought out a lot of good stuff, both of you. <laughs> and what I'd like to do is kind of look at two things. Number one, you talk about the trial of faith. And I got an analogy that may work, may not. But you take somebody gives you a $10 million check. Mm -hmm. Now, you're just as happy because you got a check. You think, it, but until you try that check hmm. by <laughs> cashing it, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and then when it's uh -huh. cashed, then you can fully appreciate that's exactly the right. value of that check. That's right? exactly and right. And that's kind yeah. of like faith. That's exactly right. <laughs> and, and just quickly on that, God tests or tries us. Maybe your trial will be to give you prosperity. Mm -hmm. How are you going to serve me in light of prosperity? Okay. Or you may have been doing mm -hmm. well in prosperity, but what will you do with nothing? So mm -hmm. we take some things from you and see now how you're going to respond to your faithfulness. How mm -hmm. are you going to serve me now with lack? See, the trial can be various things. For some folk, giving them good health and they leave mm -hmm. the Lord. Mm -hmm. Some you take their health <laughs> and they come to. Uh -huh. But whatever happens, yes. mm -hmm. we hold fast because our faith is firm in the word of God. Mm -hmm. All right. Another Brother thing. Williams, oh, go ahead. Brought up something. <laughs> <laughs> I can see going right, right in it. <laughs> you know, uh, Revelation 2.10 talks That's about right. uh, we being tried 10 days, not mm -hmm. literally 10 days, but I thought about it when you brought up that check. You take that $10 million check down to the bank. Uh, they're not going to cash that check right away. Mm -mm. They're going to try to check. <laughs> they're going to put it out on collection. That's right. <laughs> and when they collect, the then comes you in. comes in, then yeah. you can, really you can have your they're, right. they're trying it for you. That's right. See, so it's a, it's a time frame yes, thing that we yes, go through is. with in life and trying our faith. How stable is our faith? How firm are we to stand? <laughs> yes. Will we stand the test when we really get tried? Absolutely. Or will we turn back Absolutely. like uh, those in apostolic times <laughs> in, uh, in 2 Timothy 4.10? You know, and, and another thing quickly, uh, those who, t uh, the grace teachers who accuse us of teaching a works-based faith, a works-based mm -hmm. salvation, mm -hmm. and you brought out the fact that faith the reason we are given works of obedience is for the obedience of faith. That's right. 16, mm -hmm. 26. That's exactly right. And so, but, so if we don't obey, then the faith isn't there. It's void. Mm -hmm. Your faith was found wanting when it was tried by the test. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we're coming up on our break. We're a little close at this time. We'll go ahead and take it. We're going to have a musical selection. And while we listen to the song, we'd like to acknowledge the congregations that support this broadcast. You'll find that you're always an honored guest at any and all of the services of the Churches of Christ. We'll be back in a moment. I want to be at the meeting. I want to be at the meeting. Church, I want to be at that meeting. Lord, when all the saints get home. And after he separated all the right from the wrong. And then we'll have a meeting around the throne. I want to be at the meeting. Yes, I do. I want to be at the meeting. I want to go where my Jesus is. I want to be at the meeting. Lord, when all the saints get home, troubles on earth will be over, and all my trials will be gone. Well, and then we'll have a meeting around the throne After he separated all the right from the wrong I want to be at that meeting When God's saints come marching home Church, my troubles don't hurt to be over And all of my trials down here and then we'll have a meeting around the throne. Oh, yeah. I want to be at the meeting. Yes, I do. I want to be at the meeting. I want to go where my Jesus is. I want to be at the meeting. Lord, when all the saints get home, after he separated all the right from the wrong. And then we'll have a meeting around the throne. Listen, now when I 
I get to heaven, I'm gonna join the angels' band. Unbuckle my soul. Welcome back. We're talking about some of the precious things that Peter talks about in his precious epistle. And we've talked about precious faith, precious trial of faith, and now we're going to go to Brother Maxwell, and he's going to talk about the precious stone. Yes, I believe I've really had uh, a lot of energy uh, just from uh, listening to Brother Tucker and Brother White. Um, the precious stone, I believe, is very, very vital to uh, our whole presentation today uh, because it's not just a precious stone. Uh, there are many precious stones out there today. Yes, sir. <laughs> and even Prudential says you need to get a piece of the rock. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, but this is a stone that we don't have to get a piece of, we can have the whole rock. That's Lord right. have mercy. <laughs> it's the living stone. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a precious, a lot of stones are precious, but they're dead stones. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. But Jesus Christ uh, is the precious living stone. And by this, it means that Jesus Christ di died, he was buried and rose again to die no more which means that he is the, the living stone, as Peter says in 1 Peter 2, uh, beginning at verse 4, in the New King James Version, coming to him as uh, to a living stone, rejected indeed by men, mm -hmm. but chosen by God and precious. Mm -hmm. And because Christ is a living stone, that means that all of those who accept him are all a lively stone. That's right. And so you also, he says, as living stones are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. And interestingly, this scripture uh, goes farther and it explains the stone. And it shows that this stone that we're talking about is a tried stone, yes. a rejected yes. stone, yes, sir. a stumbling stone, mm -hmm. an offensive stone, a foundation stone, a cut out stone <laughs> and a head corner stone. Yes. Yes. And notice what Peter says, he says in verse six, uh, first Peter two, he said, therefore it is also contained in the scripture. Yes, sir. He tells us, now this is in t contained in the scripture, mm -hmm. he quotes Isaiah 28, 16 right. particularly, right. mm -hmm. when he says, behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, yes. mm -hmm. elect precious, and he who believes in, in, in him will by no means be put to shame. Right. Therefore, to you who believe, he is precious, but to those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected mm -hmm. has become the sheep cornerstone and a mm -hmm. stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. Mm -hmm. They stumble being disobedient to the word to which they also were appointed. And so uh, Peter tells us very vividly that uh, this living stone um, is a tried stone. And Jesus Christ is that living stone. And he was tried by Pilate and he went <clears throat> through many judgment halls and he was unjustly tried mm -hmm. and then condemned uh, to death. Yes. He was rejected. He was um, a stumbling stone and offensive stone because uh, when Jesus came to men, they didn't want to accept him yeah. and accept his will and his way. Nor the prophecies that uh, uh, stated that he would be uh, the living stone. That's right. And therefore, uh, he was put mm. to death, and uh, he was buried, arose, and he got up again to die no more. And as a living stone, uh, he is also a foundation stone. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, Peter quotes Isaiah, when Isaiah said, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a, tr a stone, yes. a tried stone, yes. a precious cornerstone, and whosoever believeth shall not make haste. And so, um, mm. that stone then is a foundation stone. But it's interesting that it's not just a foundation stone, it's a chief cornerstone. Mm -hmm. That's right. And a, um, and a cornerstone uh, was that which set the foundation That's right. and squared the building. Boy, yes. right. Yes. In, in, in other words, uh, uh, the building can't be right unless, unless you have the cornerstone That's set right. properly. <laughs> and so God <laughs> laid that stone. He said, behold, I lay in Zion. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the only way we can know that uh, the spiritual house or the, or the church that we are a part of 
uh, is from God is that the Lord had to lay the stone. Yes. Mm. Right. yes. And so uh, Jesus Christ then is that foundation in 1 Corinthians 3.11 yes. um, where uh, Paul said, other foundation can, can no, no man, man lay. And except that which is laid, yes. Jesus Christ. So you see, uh, in order for any uh, thing or anybody to be a foundation of, of a church, um, and if it's to be accepted by God, the Lord must lay it. That's right. And it must be laid in the right place. That's right. Yes. Uh, Isaiah said, behold, I lay in Zion. Zion. Yes. And Zion metaphorically uh, stands for Jerusalem. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so this means that uh, the church was begun in Jerusalem that's where the stone was laid. Yes. But it was cut out even long before mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. Daniel chapter 2. That's yes. right. Uh, mm -hmm. You remember when um, King Nebuchadnezzar right. saw uh, that uh, image yes. mm -hmm. and a, fine, a head of fine gold. Yes. And remember the breast of a silver and, uh, and arms of silver, legs mm -hmm. and thighs of, of uh, brass. That's mm -hmm. right. And then, uh, uh, and, and then you have the... Um, a feet iron, mixed, uh, with mixed with mm -hmm. iron and with clay. Mm -hmm. And then he saw that stone cut out of the mouth without hands. And, and I believe that was the deity that represents Christ. That's yes, right. right. And That's right. that stone smote the image and broke the image into pieces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that represented four worldwide kingdoms. That's right. Mm -hmm. First, the Babylonian kingdom. Yes. And then, which represented the gold. And then you had the breast uh, Asian, uh, that uh, represented the uh, Medo Persian That's kingdom, right. mm -hmm. and then the belly and the thighs representing the uh, Grecian kingdom, mm -hmm. and then the legs uh, of yeah. iron and feet of part iron and clay representing the Roman, Roman Empire. That's right. And so the church was begun in the Roman Empire where the stone was laid. That's mm -hmm. right. In Zion, in Jerusalem. And that's what makes it so precious because uh, everybody who becomes a member of the Lord's church builds upon the life of the living stone. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes us li uh, lively stones and living stones because we build off of the stone, stone that was laid mm -hmm. in Zion. Yes, sir. And to me, it's a beautiful concept. And when Jesus says up on this rock, I will build my church, that rock is what I believe is that living stone. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh, that we're built upon and that foundation. And he says, and the gates of hell should not prevail against it, Matthew right. 16, 18. You know, you mentioned something in um, mm -hmm. First Peter 2 and 8. Mm -hmm. You said they stumbled. The Bible said they mm -hmm. stumbled yes, right. being, mm -hmm. disobedient. being disobedient. Yes. Now, the right. reason the rock is an offense is mm -hmm. because people who claim they have faith. That's right. But don't want to obey. That's right. That's it. Because of mm -hmm. our obedience and therefore That's become it. offensive. It became a Absolutely. stumbling stone. And, a re a re and as a result, a rejected stone. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Brother Wright, mm -hmm. finish up. Talk to us about the precious blood mm -hmm. of Jesus, the most precious mm -hmm. of all. I know that's all right. right. Uh, in finishing up and mm -hmm. of that stone, and uh, it's clearly mm -hmm. stated in First Corinthians <coughs> 10, mm -hmm. verses 3 and 4, that they followed mm -hmm. that stone mm -hmm. that followed them. Mm -hmm. Uh, that rock that followed right. them, and that rock, he said, was Christ. That's right. And so now Christ was that living, l yeah. living stone, mm -hmm. and we are lively stones yes, because of him. But before we became lively mm -hmm. stones, there was something that that living stone did mm -hmm. for every one of us. All right. And the writer records in First mm -hmm. Peter chapter one and verses number. 18 and 19, for as much as you know that you were not redeemed mm -hmm. with uh, corruptible things mm -hmm. as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by the traditions from your father, mm -hmm. but with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without mm -hmm. blemish mm -hmm. and without spot. Mm -hmm. Now this is what we were redeemed right. by. Mm -hmm. This living stone gave us uh, his precious blood gave up his precious blood. Now, blood is the life of the body. Yes, sir. If you lose all of your blood in your body, your body dies yes. and it won't live without that blood. But Christ gave up his precious blood, his life. That's what it's really talking about. His life that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And this was the blood. Now, when we look at that blood, look at several things that this blood uh, did for us. Number one, it redeemed mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. yes. Not by any gold, uh, silver, mm -hmm. nothing of the kernel right. nature right. 
of man redeemed us, but Christ gave himself to redeem us from all of our mm -hmm. unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, he purchased mm -hmm. us and the church, Acts 20 and 28. Yes, sir. He purchased us, what with? His yes, own yes, precious blood. blood. That's why it is so precious. Uh, we wouldn't have the church of Christ without the blood. Amen. That's right. We couldn't have it. Right. And then, then, then uh, we are justified. Ephesians, uh, not Ephesians, but Romans 5 and verse number 9. We are justified by yeah. the blood right. of Christ. Yeah. This is what justifies us. Mm -hmm. And then thirdly, uh, this uh, blood that of Christ, and we look in Ephesians 1, 7, in whom we have redemption mm -hmm. yeah. through his blood. Mm -hmm. It is through the blood of Christ that we find forgiveness of our sins. That's right. Right. We could not get forgiveness. And then it is also through the blood of Christ that our daily sins that we commit mm -hmm. are remitted. remitted. That's That's right. Right. See, because the Bible says if we walk in the light, That's right. John 1 and 7, right. as he's in the light, mm -hmm. we have fellowship mm -hmm. one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ uh, cleanses us from all yes. unrighteousness or sin. Yes. And then when you read the rest of that, it uh, says if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves right. and the <laughs> truth is not in us. Right. But if we confess our sins, he is just and faithful to forgive us of all right. unrighteousness. And if we say we do have not sin, then we call him a lie who is him God. God sent his son. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not mm -hmm. perish but have everlasting life. And while we were yet sinners, Romans 5 and 8, he died for us. Yes. Amen. Shed right. his blood. How precious is the gift of God given to us through the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. Yes. Mm -hmm. That really brings it all into context. Why should we have faith? Because God has acted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why should we allow our faith to be tried? Because God has promised. Mm -hmm. <laughs> why, should we why should we stand on the stone? Mm -hmm. Because God has ordained it. Mm -hmm. And then why should we believe that we have hope of eternal life? Because God has bought us. Nice yes. 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 Good reason to have faith. Yes, we want to thank you for tuning in with us this morning. We hope that we have edified you and given you a reason to open the book. Look in the word of God and see if God has a word for you. We're faced with the storms of life, which pose many serious questions. While we may not know all of the questions, we do know where and in whom the answer lies. Let's always try and do it Christ's way. May God bless you and keep you is our prayer. You have been watching Let's Do It Christ's Way, a weekly question and answer forum brought to you by the Churches of Christ of the Greater Dallas and Fort Worth area. If you have questions or comments regarding this broadcast, you can direct them to Let's Do It Christ Way, care of the Southern Hills Church of Christ at 6969 CFON Freeway, Dallas, Texas, 75217. Or you can call area code 214-398-2577. Until the next time, may the Lord richly bless you and remember, the Churches of Christ salute you. Ah!